Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 73 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed and practiced the concerns. In this lecture, we will discuss about action helpers. We already used some default uh, helper methods like uh, link to and form with where we use the link to to create a link with anchor tag on the browser and we use form with helper to create forms on for our resources. Now let's understand what is helper in Rails. So helpers are used to extract the complex logic out of the view so that you can organize your code better. For example, let's open the student show page. Here you can see that I'm at the show page of the student on the browser and we have a date of birth attribute inside the student model. And here you can see that the date of birth is displaying in YYMMDD or you can say year, month and dead format okay but if we want to display that in a better format like let's say uh, day name then month name and then date and the year so we need to do something like uh, this so open the show template of your students okay go to the students and open the show temp show dot stimulo trb and here you can find that we have a date of birth attribute and now we need to format this date so we can do something like at the rate student dot date of birth dot strf time and in this strf time we can provide our format let's say a for full day name okay and then percent b for half month name for or short month name okay and then percent b and then percent y let's save it okay so save the file and now refresh the browser here you can see that uh, we can see friday february 1 and 2002 okay now suppose if you have some other model record with same date okay or with some date attribute where you want to display the formatted date in same format then you would repeat this uh, or you can call this strf method from the view on the date attribute itself and this is completely fine but uh, it seems that you are repeating the same kind of logic on your view file repeatedly okay or you are repeating this logic on my across the view files okay and that is not a good, good practice because we can extract this logic from the view templates and just place that into some helper class and where we can use the helper class to uh, display the formatted date okay so now let's open your application helper okay and in application helper we will uh, prepare a method to display the date in form uh, some format okay so let's create a method here let's say formatted date and here you can pass the date object okay and in this date object what you can do that uh, just copy this method name and you can call this method from the views okay so the main purpose of this video is to show you how you can use helpers and how you can use help uh, create a helper uh, methods inside your helper and use those methods on the view template so paste the method name here okay and pass the student date of birth as format okay and remove this code from here now now let's see this we call formatted date and we pass a student's date of birth into that method as argument okay and now we can perform formatting in this method okay save the file and now refresh your student's detail page okay you will see the you can see the formatted date here okay now let's print add one more comma after date save the file and refresh your page okay now we have this uh, formatted date method inside the application helper and now whenever or at whatever resource you want to display a formatted date you can use this method because this method is defined into the application helper and this will help you in extracting your logic from the 
view file okay however this is very simple now okay so uh, suppose if we want uh, uh, for example suppose if a student do not have value for date of birth then how you will do this and how you will handle that case okay so probably you will do it something like let's say say if let student dot date of birth dot present okay and then you will do let's say and then you can use that code inside this if block save this now if you can refresh the page you can call the same thing but what we can uh, provide we can handle that case with helper method as well okay so you can just pass the that object from here if it is nil then you can handle that case from here like uh, if date dot present okay and then you can simply call the formatted date and that will completely fine and that is the better way to handle your logic at the views okay so you can try this at your own end so this is the way or this is the very simplest way of using helpers in your rails application okay and now let's come to the helpers directory in our project folder you can see that we have uh, application helper courses helper projects helper okay but we do not have helpers for all the models like let's say for blogs for students for student projects and for demos okay why because uh, whenever you generate a resource from terminal okay like using scaffolding okay then you will get a course uh, you will get a a uh, separate helper for that particular resource okay and that contains only the logic which is uh, reflectable or which is uh, available for that resource views only okay for example if you will uh, write any helper method inside the course helper and uh, then you want to add some logic uh, you want to extract some logic from the view and uh, write into the courses helper then that logic will only reflect for the Page, uh, HTML pages of the courses resource only. Okay, and if you do the same thing for projects helper, then that will uh, make effect on the view templates of the projects uh, resource only. Okay, not for the others. But if you define some logic or some helper methods inside the application helper, then that will help for or that will be available for all the resources available in your application. Okay, so now you can see that. Uh, we have a format we have defined formatted date method inside the application helper so now any of the resource uh, let's say blogs courses demos projects and student in or any of the other resources which we will add in future in our course project then they can use this method formatted date to uh, display the date in some specific format okay and similarly you can write other methods as well in your controller so this is how you need to work with action helpers okay so this was the main purpose of uh, this video to showing you how to use helper actions and what are action helpers okay so mainly we can use application helper if we want to reflect the helper methods logic on across the templates and for multiple resource then application helper is better and if you want to write helper methods for only that resource on uh, then you can use a separate uh, helper which is dedicated dedicated to that resource only okay and uh, you can write helper methods in controller as well and that we will see in next lecture uh, because that is because it is not always uh, a right way to write helper methods in your controller okay but uh, if needed you can write that okay but uh, only do that uh, for a specific case and which we will cover in the next lecture okay so i hope you liked it and thanks for watching this and try these helper methods at your end as well and if you get stuck or if you find anything uh, which causes doubt for you then let me know through the comment section and i will be happy to help you okay so that's all from this video
thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe